Good morning, my name is Dr. Srivastava. I'm one of the doctors here in the clinic. Nice to meet you. Hello, nice to meet you as well. Can I confirm your name and age, please? Yeah, it's um, Alice Harris mm -hmm. and I'm 52. Okay, nice to meet you, Alice. Hi. So, I understand you've been seeing the doctor recently and you're here to discuss a new diagnosis. That's that right, correct? yes, please. Okay, yeah. Yeah. so this is the first time I've met you. Yeah. So just run me through what how you've been feeling recently and the tests that you've had. Well, it's my joints, really. Mm. Um, I've been feeling really stiff in the mornings mm. and um, well, I've been to and fro into mm -hmm. um, the doctors and you know my hands especially have been getting quite swollen up mm. and um, anyway I had some tests done mm -hmm. and I've been told it's arthritis and then also been told that um, you're going to come and talk it through with me and just talk through as well what, what kind of treatment I'm going to have. Yeah absolutely. So. I just want to confirm if you know what type of arthritis have you been told that you have? Oh, I don't know actually. Okay, so you know, based on the symptoms that you have mm. mentioned, yeah. the results of the blood tests and the x-rays, yeah. you have a specific type of arthritis called rheumatoid arthritis. Okay. okay. Have you ever heard of that before? Um, yeah, I've heard of it. Okay, do you have yeah. any understanding of, of what it is? Um, is it to do with wear and tear? It's a good thought. That is a different type of arthritis. Okay. All oh, right. So what I plan to do today is we'll discuss what rheumatoid arthritis is. Okay. And then there is a medication that your doctor will rec recommend okay. that you start. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Are you okay with that? Of course. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So rheumatoid arthritis. Mm. It is a specific type of arthritis that results from your immune system being overactive and unexpectedly attacking parts of your joint. Okay? okay. Now, in honesty, the underlying cause for this condition, we don't fully understand. Right. Okay. But we have got a good understanding of how the illness can progress if we don't do anything about it. Okay. Okay. So if we weren't to treat, the joints can yeah. eventually become damaged. Yeah. And it's going to lead to deformities later in life. Okay. There are also some risks to your heart. There is an increased risk of stroke oh, and increased risk to your bones more generally. Right. Okay, so it's really important that we think about starting some treatment for yeah. you. Okay? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Did you have any questions about the diagnosis itself? Um, I don't know really. So it's, not, it's nothing to do with the wear and tear, it's about my immune system. Mm. Yeah, that's right. And it can lead to like, problems with the heart. Mm -hmm. Crikey. Mm. Um, and deformity. So, Alice, uh, I've got a good understanding of why you know you've come to the doctors recently. Okay. Yeah, Just yeah, a few yeah. background questions as well. If okay. That's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, do you have any other medical conditions that you see a doctor for? Um, well, yeah, I've got a problem with my, my thyroid, mm -hmm. and also I do get migraine every mm -hmm. now and again. Okay. A few lifestyle questions as well for okay. you, Alice. Yeah. That we ask everybody. Mm -hmm. Do you smoke at all? No, no. No. Okay. And what about alcohol consumption? No, I'm not a drinker either. Okay. And do you take any recreational drugs? <laughs> no. <laughs> like I said, we ask everyone. Okay. No, 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 I definitely don't. Okay. Um, just a quick check. How are things at home? Oh yeah, good. Yeah. Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Have yeah. you? Do you live with anybody? Um. Well, um, just my partner now. Mm -hmm. um, my daughter left home. Mm. It was about three months ago now. Mm -hmm. She got a she got a flat of her own. Oh, I which see. Which is nice. Excellent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And you and your partner, um, do you, are you guys independent? Do you need any support with anything? Oh no, 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 no absolutely fine. It was just, it was just more. It, it's been getting quite difficult with mm. me, you know, with the stiffness really. Mm -hmm. um, but you know, once I'm kind of moving, um, I'm fine. Okay. Um, but um, but yeah, generally we're we're both pretty well and we're very mm. happy together. Yeah. Okay, great. Yeah, yeah. And what about work? Do you? Oh, uh, yeah, I work in uh, I work as a school secretary. I see. Yeah. And have your symptoms been affecting your work? That actually, to be honest, mm. it's my hands because they mm. do get quite swollen yeah. and they do get stiff. Mm -hmm. um, so sometimes it is getting to be a bit of a struggle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, that has been worrying me a bit. Okay, great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And Alice, do you take any regular medications? Oh, yes, I do. I've got my tablets for the thyroid. Mm -hmm. 
and then it's just when I get migraine, um, mm -hmm. I get ibuprofen as and when I need to. Okay. Uh, yeah. Do you know what the tablet for your thyroid is called? Yes, I do. Um, mm -hmm. Here it is. I uh, can never say it properly, so I thought mm -hmm. if I bring it. It's, um, is it levothyroxine? Levothyroxine, okay, yeah. 100 micrograms. Okay. That's right, yeah. And what are you taking over the counter you mentioned? Yeah, it's just the ibuprofen for my head. Ibuprofen, okay, yeah. fine. And do you have any allergies to any medications uh, or foods? No. Okay. So Alice, we've explained a little bit about rheumatoid arthritis and mm -hmm. you know the main thing to understand is it's related to your immune system being overactive. Yeah. So the medication that we're going to recommend, okay, is called methotrexate. Okay. And this is a drug that suppresses the immune system in general terms. Okay? Right. So the benefits it will bring you are reducing the frequency with which you have the flares of the joint pain and swelling. Okay. And it will also reduce the risk to the other organs that I mentioned before, so the heart, reducing the risk of stroke, okay. and to your bones as well. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Any questions on how it works at this point? Um, I mean, if I take this tablet, I mean, is it gonna like cure it? Is it gonna make it completely better? Mm, it's a great question, and unfortunately, no. We, we don't actually have any curative medications for this condition. So I've got it for life, basically. Yeah. But what I will add is that even though it is a medication to take for life, many of our patients get really good control of their symptoms and can you know, lead fairly normal lives, okay. particularly things like work and activities of daily life. Is it inevitable though that it's going to get gradually worse or are you saying that with this medication mm -hmm. we should be able to keep it under control? So. It is possible that we may need to switch medications at some point. Okay. I won't be able to predict for your case in particular. Right. But rest assured that if it isn't providing adequate effect, mm -hmm. or if we need to add in some medications, that's something we can consider down the line. Okay. okay. So I'll just take this moment now to give you a practical idea of how we're going to give you the medication. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So it comes as a tablet. Okay. You're going to take it once every week. Okay. Oh, okay, so and it's just the ones. Just the ones, okay. yeah. And it'll yeah. be the same day and time each okay. week as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. We've already talked about it, but it will be indefinite. And at the beginning, before you start, we need to do some monitoring tests first. Okay. Because right. there are some risks to starting this medication. I oh, see. Okay, so number one, it can affect your liver. So we will do a blood test to check that first. Okay. And we'll also recommend that you don't have alcohol. Does that part make sense? Yes, yes it does. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, number yeah. two, it can affect your lungs. Mm -hmm. So before you start this medication, we're going to send you for a chest x-ray. Okay. Okay. And as we sort of increase the dose and it reaches the desired effect, yeah. the frequency of those blood tests will be less often. Okay. 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 Right. A few other risks that I need to let you know about. So mm -hmm. anybody starting this medication, we recommend against... Uh, attempting to conceive is that in oh, don't you worry now I'm way beyond that now <laughs> I see okay fair <laughs> enough okay one thing we'd advise as well Alice whilst you're on methotrexate we wouldn't recommend that you take medica medications like ibuprofen or any similar anti-inflammatory medications it increases the risk of an ulcer in the stomach that oh, can cause okay. bleeding it's just that it's well the ibuprofen is the only thing that seems to work ah uh, okay now Totally appreciate that. There are a range of alternatives I can look into for you, and we'll see if we can find something that works. Okay. Okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you. Okay. Yeah. And then okay. the final risk, okay, we mentioned that it's a immunosuppressant medication. Mm. So in the first few weeks and months that you're on this, you need to take any symptoms of infection very seriously, okay? Okay. So any coughs, colds, uh, if you're bringing anything up, if you feel particularly unwell, mm -hmm. you need to go to A&E and okay. also mention that you're on methotrexate. Right. Okay. okay. Yeah. Similarly, if you have any unexpected bleeding or bruising, same thing. Right. Okay, please take it seriously and go to A&E okay. and mention you're on methotrexate. Okay. okay. So I need to be quite diligent then in that yeah. respect. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There are also some common but not as serious side effects I'd like to make you aware of. Mm -hmm. Nausea. Uh, diarrhea and ulcers within the mouth can okay. happen with a patient on methotrexate. If it is particularly bad or bothering you, please do seek medical advice for those as well. Right. Okay. Okay. Yes, I will. Great. Yeah. yeah. 
So as we've gone through a lot today, yeah. uh, like I say, we'll give you some written information about the mm -hmm. diagnosis yeah. and about the medication, but also we'll arrange another appointment for you, okay? So you have time to think about any questions that you may have. Okay, that's good. There's quite a lot there. So, yeah. yeah. Okay, great. And then the final thing is that we do recommend anybody who has rheumatoid arthritis to have an annual flu jab. Okay. okay. So, so I've got to have a flu jab. Ideally. Yeah, that's not a yeah. problem at all. No, yeah. no. I mean, basically, I'll do whatever mm -hmm. I've got to do because, mm -hmm. you know, I just want to get this under control. Of course, of course. Okay. Is there anything yeah. else on your mind? It's just the fact that you were saying that I have to take this medication mm -hmm. for life. Mm -hmm. I mean, is, is, is there a chance? I mean, I know you said that, you know, the medication might change, but if it's the same medication and it, mm -hmm. you're saying about the immune system, I mean, could my system get used to it so then it, like, stop working? Yeah, we do sometimes observe that patients on a medication that works for a while. Mm it suddenly stops working. Okay, and in that case, you know, if you get symptoms, you seek advice from your doctor. Okay. And then there are a number of other medications that we can trial instead. Okay. 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 Um, and I'll, there's no reason why I can't like continue to work. So this should help. Okay. Yeah. That's, so you mentioned that's good. Yeah. The, the hand swelling and pains affecting yeah. your work. Yeah. This will be part of trying okay. to reduce the frequency of those yeah. attacks. Okay, thank you. Okay. So as we've gone through a lot today, yeah. uh, like I say, we'll give you some written information about the mm -hmm. diagnosis yeah. and about the medication, but also we'll arrange another appointment for you, okay? So you have time to think about any questions that you may have. Okay, that's good. There's quite a lot there. So, yeah. yeah. Okay, great. Okay, thank you.